Hey everybody, it's just a few minutes after midnight. Glad you're here. And we're glad we're here because that means the world did not end. It's the 22nd right now. I was very worried about that. Were you? Oh man, I was, I've lost sleep over that. About uh, The Mayan calendar said, I don't know what exactly it said, but the world was going to end on uh, 12, uh, 21, 12. Right. It didn't. We're still here. It's good news. You know, this show put me in touch. Uh, I had a, a friend of mine that I haven't seen in probably 10 years was scanning the channel saw me found me and uh sort of we reconnected because of the show thank you very much tell me it's not amazing that's fantastic that's amazing i mean there's somebody sitting at home right now sitting on their couch and they just accidentally and they said what is this what's this and they're going to watch for a few minutes we hope you'll stick around yeah if you do stick around i've got something to give away something to give away are you serious i'm serious i got something i brought that i'm going to give away you've got something to give away right I'm as simple as answering an email. I'm sending us an email. Really? Right. You have something to stick around. Hey, do this favor. Call somebody. Get somebody else to watch the show. It's on Comcast all throughout the city. Every county around Atlanta, every which direction. It's on Comcast, Channel 29. That's where you found it. But let some of your friends know. Get them to tune in. Tune in. Let's help the show. Let's, let's make it grow a little bit. And next week's Christmas already. Wow. Are you leaving town? No. You're staying in town? Yes, I'm staying in town. Right. Well, all my family's here now. They used to, I used to have, have some travel in from out of town, but everyone's here now, so. It's good news, man. Right. It's good news. Y'all happy about that? Is family still, y'all happy about that? That's good. I'm very glad to hear it. Uh, thank you very much. We're real glad to hear it. Hey, on tonight's show, we've got a few interesting segments coming up. Uh, we're going to hang out, talk about a number of things. Uh, stick around. Do not go anywhere. We're with a special guest right now. This is uh, Jeff Blaylock. Jeff, how you doing, sir? I'm doing good, sir. Uh, what is your title with the sh with, with the city? I am deputy mayor for promotions and visitors. What does that mean exactly? Well, it means I kind of run the tourism part. You know, getting people into Atlanta, getting them in to uh, come see our fair city and spend money. Well, you, you requested that you meet with the Atlanta Late Show. Well, we're meeting. I told you that I'd like to record this. Why did you want to meet with us? Well, I've been seeing some of your stuff, and frankly, we just don't think it's uh, it, it's putting Atlanta in a good light. Hi, folks. Kevin White with White & Sons Roofing out of Cartersville, Georgia. Ignore the noise behind you. We're making a happy customer day putting on a new roof. Are you plugging leaks in your roof one at a time? things you're putting off, call White & Sons Roofing today. We'll make you happy and we'll get the job done right the first time. Hey, don't forget, call White & Sons Roofing today. You know, things through the years come and go. Mm -hmm. Does Prale shampoo still exist? Do you remember Prale shampoo? I remember the name. Yes, I do. Does it still exist? I don't know. I don't know. Does it? I don't know. I don't know. You, they sh you sure do not see a TV advertisement for it. Prale. No, I don't. I remember it from a kid, my mother using it, and all the TV advertising. Prale shampoo. Okay. Prale shampoo. Yeah, that's interesting, Chuck. Well, you yeah, know. Well, can you think of anything that? That from your childhood, a brand that doesn't exist anymore? A brand that was very popular around your house? Clackers. Clackers. You don't remember Clackers? Oh, the two balls? That yes. <laughs> and the two balls, you just, they even have contests, but then all of a sudden they just shatter and can possibly put your eye out, and they don't, they don't make them anymore. That was entertainment back then. That was then. entertainment, but now in today's world, they wouldn't be allowed. They just would not be allowed because they shatter, and, but Clackers. I remember Clackers. Y'all remember, if you're older, you remember Clackers, yes. Wow. Yeah, I Clackers. Forgot, forgot all about them. Yeah. Well, another brand that's going away. Yeah. Is Hostess. Yeah, yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, the Twinkies are gone. That's right. So, one day, 20 years from now, there'll be a couple of guys like you and I sitting around talking about 
Do you remember Twinkies? You will be telling your grandkids, once there was Twinkies, we all ate Twinkies. You're right, you're absolutely, they'll be telling their grandkids about it someday. If you go on eBay right now, you'll see Twinkies for wow. sale. Yeah. Anywhere from 45 to $300 a box. You're kidding me. Wow. But we promised you we were gonna give something away, so I've got three boxes. Wow, man, that could be that. This could be your retirement plan right here. Three boxes of Twinkies. Wow, what do they got to do? Just send you an email or me an email. Okay. Send one of us an email. David or Chuck, either one at Atlanta Lake Show. You'll see it on the screen. Okay. And emails are time stamped, so you'll see a time. Or I'll put contest at Atlanta. I'll put something up, but you'll okay. see it on the screen. Yeah. Okay. So whatever's on the screen, send your email to that email address. The first three that arrive, send your address, we're going to mail you a box of Twinkies. You well, can freeze them, they'll be a part of history. That'll be at 12.010 or whatever time we play it, it'll be about 12.15, so the contest will be over pretty quick. But you'll give these, you'll, you'll, you'll send them a box of Twinkies. S send your address, mail you a box, freeze it, you have a piece of American history right here. And you can say thanks to the Atlanta Lake Show. That's a pretty good gift. It is. It's about as unique as you can get. I mean, you're giving them, you're giving them a piece of American history. I mean, there may be somebody out there who takes it and holds on to it for a year and then sells it on eBay. Who knows? Could be a little savings plan here. Yeah, I wouldn't sell it. I mean, if they're selling right now for forty-five to hundred bucks, what are they going to sell for in a year? Yeah, look it up on eBay right now. See what Twinkies are going for. All right, here's the email. Send your email right now. First three. You got it. You got a check engine light on in your car, don't know exactly what it is? Bring it to Lubin Trevino Transmission Service. We have all the late model equipment to diagnose your check engine light. Bring it to us, we'll take care of you. Lubin Trevino Transmission Service. Family owned and operated for 35 years in Cobb County. Lubin Trevino Transmission. 770-435-5459. Chuck, do you think we've been visited by aliens on this planet? I think we have. Okay. I think the government's aware of it. Okay. So they're, why wouldn't they share it with us? Good question. Why wouldn't the government tell us that aliens have been here? I think there's people out there living today with, with knowledge of something that they're afraid to speak of. Why wouldn't they tell us? I mean, are, are they afraid for their lives if they speak about it? Or maybe they'll just be erased if they speak about it, and they know, they'll just be erased. I mean, there's technology out there just to, boop, you're gone. I mean, it's just flick my switch and something comes down from space and shoots down in your house and you, you're gone, right? Wow. Well, I mean, do you, so you think we've been visited by alien I, life? I do. There's a lot of unexplained things out there. You know what I think? I don't know this for sure, but somebody else. This, they think there's a military base here on this planet where aliens reside. I mean, really advanced society, very advanced. They don't live in Manhattan. They don't live here in Georgia. They live under the ocean. Really? Like Atlantis. Like they got a city like Atlantis, a very high, t way down there, three miles under the ocean and they live under the ocean. So these spacecraft, when they see you know, alien life, it's not like they're coming from, coming from wherever, they're coming from underneath the ocean. That's, well, no pun intended, but that's deep. That's deep. Well, I mean, that's what I, I, I think they're, how would you know? How would you know? The B Bermuda Triangle, it says, I think there's a possibility that's, that's what's going on. How many incidents have taken place in the Bermuda Triangle? Do you know? No. I do not either. That would be some interesting research. That would be some interesting research. What do y'all think? But I think, yes, we've been... But also, here's what I... Also, I like to read about this stuff. and <clears throat> I understand you can... It's not like they need a radio to communicate. You can think. Like, tap into it and think. Okay, I want to talk to the alien. and You can somehow just go into your head and communicate... You know what I'm talking about? No, I believe that. That's what they believe. They believe deep space travel won't be through radio. 
because it won't reach them. You'll be able to just connect mentally back and forth and be able to just back and forth mentally connect. It's kind of scary. You want to try it? <laughs> okay. Okay, let's communicate. Seriously, think about it now. Now, there's okay. aliens under the ocean. Oh, try it home. Aliens under the ocean. <laughs> Seriously. Okay. Seriously, right. we're going to all do it. Aliens under the ocean. <laughs> we're going to take a break. Ricky Thomas, come here and follow me and watch this. We have heat and air units of all kinds, heat pumps, gas systems, anything you need. Furnish your whole house for as low as $1,600. Complete systems, don't pay those guys double that price. Use last year's models, everything. We've got cabinets, oak and birch, any size that you could possibly want for your house. Cheapest prices in Metro Atlanta. Come to Cartersville, 770-334-8339 at West Yellow Knife Training Post. Welcome back everybody. Dave, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen something you can't explain? Something that just happened to you years ago that you still think about now and then? Have I seen something I cannot explain? Right. Went to Biltmore House one time and took a photograph and it looked like a ghost in the window. And then the photograph was lost, which was really irritating. But Really? But no, we didn't make a big deal out of it. It just, it, I looked at it and thought, it looks like a ghost. And it did. It looked like a ghost in the window at the Biltmore house. Right. But that's minor because it was just one of those things that I wasn't convinced there was a ghost. Was, it just looked like a ghost. But well, what's interesting is the photo disappeared. No, it was lost. It was lost. Somebody took it. Somebody took it and then they lost it. It's, just, it's a story and I don't need to. But is there, if I've seen something I cannot explain, like, like a Bigfoot or something. Uh, well, let me tell you a story. Remember years ago, when you went to Panama City, you had to take the old 431, 231, two-lane highways. Yes. Coming back, midnight. Yes. Coming up 231, a deer comes off the bank onto my hood. Dang gum. Kills the headlights. Whoa. No headlights. Man. Fortunately, we have a full moon, so I continue to drive. About 10 minutes later, this is a true story. People think I'm nuts. Yeah. Coming down the road, where there were there was a guy and a a group of people yeah they were walking on the other side of the road there other was a, side of the road there yeah. was one then there was two then there was three then there was two then there was one mm -hmm. and they were all wearing reflective garments yeah true story and terrified me now i'm in the middle of nowhere why are these people walking down the road in formation I know I'm not nuts. This is a true story, and I still think about it from time to time. I don't know why I think about it. I just do. Think they were aliens or I something? I have no idea. Well, what do you what do you think it is? I don't understand. They were in the middle of the nowhere. Where where were they? In the they? middle of nowhere. They're you know open country, no stores, no houses. They were just walking. They're just walking. Think they were ghosts in formation. I have no idea. That's kind of odd. That's kind of odd. You people out there ever seen anything like that? See, that's the kind of emails I'd like to get, just to sort of solidify that I'm not. You know. Two weeks to prepare for my exam. As always, I wait till last minute. Gonna study, gonna study, I'm gonna study. Okay, let's see. Math. Polynomial functions. Hey, I have no idea how to do this. Oh, YouTube! How to do polynomial functions. Okay, this is so confusing. Not helping. Okay. Ooh, a guy that can talk. Click. Oh, that's so funny. No, 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 no. Gotta study. Gotta study. Gotta study. Okay. Polynomial functions. Uh, maybe math is not just a good thing to start with. 
Ooh, let's see. I look good in this reflection. No, no, no. Okay, I'll just start with English. Let's see. English. The Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan Poop. <laughs> Poop. No, 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 no. Gotta study. Gotta study. Okay, the Raven. Oh, no, 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 no. Gotta study. Gotta study. Gotta study. Okay, let's see. Ooh, text message. <laughs> oh my gosh, he got a new dog. Cool. L O L. Oh, I wonder what's going on on Twitter. Yeah, I'll get on Twitter. Let's see. Oh, my boyfriend. Ooh, new follower. Oh, my boyfriend left me. Selfish. Oh, my God. Let's see what else. Studying hard for finals. Ah, tweet. Okay, got it. Gilari tweets. No, no, no. Gotta study. Gotta study. Gotta study. Okay. Let's see. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allan. Okay, this isn't working out. Uh, I'll just, I'll just start with. Oh, Instagram. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I'll take a picture. Click. Okay. All right. No filter. No makeup on. Post. Okay. Let's see. I'll get a lot of likes and comments. Let's see what's going on. Oh, she looks ugly. Oh, that's a cute puppy. I'm hungry. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Let's see what else. Uh, I'm bored. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's see. Get back to studying. Get back to studying. Edgar Allan Poe. Edgar Allen. Oh, Spongebob's coming on today. I wonder what new episode's coming on. Yeah, I love Spongebob. <laughs> okay, no, no. Edgar Allen Poe. Okay, maybe it's not a good... I'll just start with communications. Okay, communications. Interpersonal relationships. Interesting. Let's see, let's see. Uh, this isn't working out. <sighs> okay, I'll just I'll just take a break. 15-minute break. 15-minute break. All right, I'll be re Okay, my break lasted about three hours, but uh, okay, we'll we'll get back on track. Gotta study, gotta study, gotta study. My exams tomorrow. All right. Uh, this isn't gonna work out. Uh, I'm so bored. I'm so tired. Oh. Okay, no, 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 no. I will study, study. Uh, I think I can just study 15 minutes before class. No, yeah, no. Okay, all right. Chuck, serious question on the Atlanta Lake Show. What happened to drive-in theaters? I loved drive-in theaters. So did I. Did you ever, you know? No. What are you talking about? With a little hanky panky in the back seat of the Absolutely theater. not. It's a public place, and that's a drive-in theater. Did. There are other people present. Of course, I did not. I didn't either. I hoped for it, but I never did. <laughs> what happened to them? I don't know, but I think with the technology today, could you imagine what movies would look like on a huge outdoor screen right Digital. now? Digital. Digital. Mm. It would be amazing. I don't know why they're out there. It, but, why they aren't out there because I think a lot of people would go to them. Oh, I know. I think they'd be packed every Friday and Saturday night. Absolutely. Every Friday and Saturday night. Did you ever sneak into a driving theater? No. Never? I absolutely did not sneak into a driving theater. I didn't either. I always wanted to. But... No. I, I went, you know, my first movies that I went to see at the drive-in was probably around 19, in the early 70s, and they were like women in prison. <laughs> and women behind bars and stuff like that. Easy Rider was one. Right. Easy Rider. They at uh, Barbarella. Remember Barbarella? Those were some good movies back then. And I saw those at the drive-in. Zulu. Remember Zulu? You don't I know. Z do not remember Zulu. That's a, that's a good movie. But I've seen. What movies do you remember seeing at the drive-in? What's the first movie you remember seeing at the drive-in? <laughs> well, you know, I can't recall. You can't I, I remember, remember all your first. Well, the first movies I saw at the drive-in theater, we we lived in a house that was adjacent to a drive-in theater. Okay, I could climb on the roof and see the screen from my roof. Wow! Yeah, thirteen years old, the naked women on the screen. Oh man, that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So, but mom and dad figured that out, and I didn't get on the roof anymore. But uh, as far as going to see a movie, uh, Kirk Douglas. Kirk Douglas. It's a western. Yeah. It's a comedy. Had a horse named Whiskey. Somebody knows exactly what you're talking about. They're yelling at the TV set right now. Please send an email to tell me what that movie is. Okay. Kirk Douglas, Horse Named Whiskey. That was a movie I remember at the drive-in theater. Really? I wish I could remember the name of it. I, 
I'll have to Google What's that. What's the first movie you remember ever going to? Any movie inside or ever? When I was a child, it was a big deal. Yeah. And my mother dropped me off at the Strand Theater yeah. to see Jungle Book. I think I was in like the second, third grade. First movie I ever remember seeing at the movie theater was How the West Was Won, Jimmy Stewart. It's a good movie. Went with my mother and my grandmother and whoever, I don't even remember who else went. It's a good movie. How the West Was Won. So then we went through VHS. Now there's DVDs. What's the next format coming up? I mean, right now they're already watching on Netflix, uh, like on your Xbox. Explain that to me. I could watch a movie on my phone. We live in a great time. Right. But I think we should have drive-in theaters. I think they should make a comeback. And I truly think if there was one around Atlanta, it'd be packed. Would you go to one? And everybody, the older generation, would want to take their younger grandkids because they, the young, they, they were raised on them. They would want to share that with that generation. Would you go to one? No. No. Absolutely not. I would. <laughs> no, I mean, I, what I, I don't know. Why would I? I might, but I just think they'd do well. I think they would do well. Were there people there that actually went to drive-in theaters by themselves? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. I can't imagine anybody ever going to the drive-in theater by themselves. I think that's one, one place you just do not go alone. Well, you know, you, you, you have to come through us and get a permit first. And, you know, I haven't noticed any permits with permits any of y'all. Permits to film. You know, you got TV shows and movies that are being filmed down here on our streets. They get permits. You know, why should you be any different? Hi folks, Kevin White with White & Sons Roofing out of Cartersville, Georgia. Ignore the noise behind you, we're making a happy customer today putting on a new roof. Are you plugging leaks in your roof one at a time? Things you're putting off? Call White & Sons Roofing today, we'll make you happy and we'll get the job done right the first time. Hey, don't forget, call White & Sons Roofing today. You got a check engine light on in your car, don't know exactly what it is, bring it to Lubin Savino Transmission Service. We have all the late model equipment to diagnose your check engine light. Bring it to us, we'll take care of you. Lubin Trevino Transmission Service, family owned and operated for 35 years in Cobb County. Lubin Trevino Transmission, 770-435-5459. Ricky Thomas, come here and follow me and watch this. We have heat and air units of all kinds, heat pumps, gas systems, anything you need. Furnish your whole house for as low as $1,600. Complete systems, don't pay those guys double that price. Use last year's models, everything. We've got cabinets, oak and birch, any size that you could possibly want for your house. Cheapest prices in Metro Atlanta. Come to Cartersville, 770-334-8339 at West Yellow Knife Training Post. Welcome back. Last week, my son turned 21 years old. He wants me to go skydiving with him. What do you think? No. Why not? I'm just not going to jump out of an airplane. Why not? Chicken? I guess. You afraid? You woman? <laughs> just not my thing. I, 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 I would, I'm not afraid of flying. I'm not afraid of heights. Right. But I can't see myself jumping out of an airplane. Okay. I've jumped out of an airplane. In fact, I jumped out of an airplane just guessing, was it 15 months ago, something like that? I went with a friend of mine named uh, Rachel. And we went to wherever that little city is. I can't even think where the city is. Uh, west of here. Cedar Town? Cedar Town, yeah, okay. went where they do it. And they charge, uh, uh, if you were to pay for it, like about $200 a piece. 
and they'll even, I think for $200 a piece, they'll, they'll send a photographer that'll photograph the whole thing and take pictures, and, and they'll do all that. And uh, a friend of mine, Rachel, I know, went up and did that, and it was quite an experience. There's nothing like it. Really? In fact, the only way you're going to enjoy skydiving is to do it two or three times, because the first time you're so nervous, you're just, you can't really sit back and just enjoy it. Oh, I'd be terrified. You don't know what's going to happen. You're just, you're just trying to get through it alive. You're trying to get to right. the ground alive. So the second time or the third time, then all of a sudden, I, th I think you could enjoy it. Now, the person I went with, Rachel, her shoot, uh, they jumped out of the plane. I jumped out first. And her shoot, her, the guy, you know, it's tandem. They got some guy strapped to you. You're back to back. You're, 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 you're back. You're, your back is to their stomach, and you're strapped together. Her chute came first one and tangled up, and they're spinning like a top, spinning like a top, coming straight towards Earth. And the uh, guy, the instructor, unhooked it, pulled the reserve that came down. She loved it. She'd do it again. You're kidding. She would do it again. So he was able to unhook yes. the chute that was tangled. Yes. And then he pulled the reserve. She, I told myself I would never do it again, ever. It'll, it'll never happen again. Never happen again. Because I've done it. I've done it. I can say I've done it, right. and I'm glad I did it, but I have no desire to do it again, none. What a terrifying experience, and she's willing to do it again? Oh, she was in the plane, and she was scared. She was just, I wasn't as scared as she was, and she was just, she even, when the guy's doing, getting ready to lurch forward, she goes, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, and there's video of her doing it, because she had a photographer, a video guy following her, I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this, and then he jumped anyway, and then the parachute, a minute later, tangled, and, Wow. She gets to the gets to the ground and they're still, you know, photographing her and she loved it. Loved it. I think you ought to do it. Not gonna happen. Why? Just uh, Chicken, you're just scared. I, I, you know, some, you're a man, Chuck. You're a man. Yeah, some, some, you look in the mirror, you're a man. You're a man. Some things you just know you were not born to do. Jump out of a plane. Jump out of a plane's not not for me. You know, we could I don't know that I, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it again, but, you know, in group, like, let's say we got 20 of you out there, we all said we're going to do it. We're all going to do it. 20 of us to do it, that's power. You can go go to the airport down there, instead of paying 200 bucks a piece, we might be able to do it for 120 bucks a piece. Right. You know, by if you get enough people to do it and rent out the whole plane, give them a whole plane load on a slow day, 120 bucks. Would you do it? Peer pressure. Would you do it for the show, Chuck? For the show. Peer pressure. For the show, Chuck. Would you do it for the show? I would consider it. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hey, send us an email, and we're looking forward to uh, giving those Twinkies away. That'll be very exciting to see who won. See you next week.